Hello and welcome to a very special Suntup unboxing. You can tell it's special because of the Suntup tape all around the box, which you may notice has a shark fin. Look at that. Yeah, shark fins on the tape. Uh, this is, of course, Jaws, the artist edition. Uh, Jaws by Peter Benchley. I had mine ship media mail, so that's why it has uh, taken so long to get this. Um, so you may have seen many other unboxings or photos of this online already. But hey, <clears throat> if you want to be late to the party like me, then enjoy. Not only do we have our Suntup foam, we have blue Suntup foam to match the water. This is, it's not very, uh, it's not very stiff compared to the regular Suntup foam, but it's probably because of the coloration. Anyways, not one, but two bookmarks for Jaws. Very nice. Uh, you have one that features Don, some artwork by John Anthony D. Giovanni, and one that features the famous Roger Castell uh, cover, which was from the movie, which was from the paperback as well. They reused it over and over again. I mean, it is the image of Jaws. More blue foam underneath. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, <clears throat> one thing you also may notice is that it is larger. Well, you, you might not notice from the image here my hand for scale i don't know it's larger than the usual sun top edition and that is because he wanted he being paul sun top wanted a oversized volume uh, it's not quite as large as misery was but it is it's close uh, oh mine got put in the slipcase upside down so there there's the back of the cover there's a nice little slipcase, Peter Benchley, Jaws, Suntup's logo. Very nice slipcase that one would expect with their Suntup editions. And then we have, -na, there it is. That's the only time I'm going to do that. <laughs> Roger Castell's uh, beautiful, beautiful imagery. Uh, very iconic. I mean, it kind of goes hand in hand with the image of Jaws, just like that score. Uh, Suntup offered a print, a Z clay print of Roger Castell's image, and I bought that up. Uh, you can watch me unbox that on the channel. There it is, copyright 1975, Peter Benchley, who passed away in 2006. Although this is the artist edition, so he would not be signing it anyways. Uh, this is signed by John Anthony D. Giovanni. But look at that beautiful cloth, kind of linen cover. Uh, fun fact that guy gets overlooked is that this incorporates plastic. This is made from plastic that was recovered from the ocean. It's incorporated into the linen design, which is just a really, really beautiful touch. That we have kind of jaws up on top there as well. And oh yes, the blood red page edges. Holy crap, those are beautiful. Very nice end papers as well, kind of wavy. Jaws. Jaws. So this is a very quick turnaround time. This was very late last year when this was announced, and here it is already. Not quite as quick as uh, Handmaid's Tale. That was announced in January, January, and that just finished shipping as well. Uh, so we have a new introduction by Wendy Benchley from 2020. That shows you how long this has been in production. Uh, Wendy Benchley is Peter Benchley's widow. Um, in addition to being the author of Jaws, he was also an ocean activist. And Wendy Benchley carries on that uh, in, uh, carries on the tradition of ocean activision oh activision sponsored by activision no ocean activism uh, and we have john anthony d giovanni's artwork throughout the numbered edition which looks stellar also features a ch uh, a coal drawing on the i believe it's on the slip case but um yeah, you know, lots of big spacing for the text there. I mean, it's oversized, so it's, it's big. The novel isn't exceptionally long, but it is a it is an interesting read. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I, I bought this solely based on the memory of the film. Oh, we have extras, bonus content, the original type title page in which Bentley crossed out the original title and penned in the title Jaws. Oh, look at this. We have... What's that notion on my leg? 
I think it's called Great White. Um, wow, that is that is awesome. Excerpt from Benchley's book. Some Roger Castell's sketches, original paperback and film poster. And oh my god, <laughs> I had not seen this. Oh, I've been trying to. That is so cool. I had not seen this online. Um, I had kind of kept all my images to like. I saw the blue foam. I saw the the shark on the tape. I had not seen the the, the signature page. That is too cool. I know he did that with uh, the arcs. Uh, the advanced reader copies had a bite coming out of it. But oh my god, that is too awesome. John Anthony D. Giovanni got some like discoloration there, but. I'm sure that's not necessarily a defect. Uh, this is sold out, as I was saying before I got wowed by the just the book in general. That's kind of the discoloration there as well. I think that's just from the, the red page edges. Um, I, the book itself is all right. The characters are pretty dreadful. <laughs> um, you're actually really rooting for the shark. But uh, I, th I feel like the popularity of the novel... Uh, is very much kind of tied up with like the zeitgeist of the film, uh, kind of like The Exorcist. Uh, the Exorcist is very much tied up with the uh, the popularity of the film. However, The Exorcist by itself uh, is a phenomenal novel. This, I, I the novel's all right. Um, like I said it's very much iconic for being what inspired the film, being what was adapted into the film uh, by. Steven Spielberg, but uh, the novel itself, uh, I find the characters to be a little weak, but I, I mean, when you hear that Suntop is going to do an edition like this, you gotta get on board, and this was one of the fastest selling, not the fastest selling, but it, it sold out very, very quickly, um, so you'd have to go to the secondary market if you want to purchase a copy like this. Uh, the numbered edition looks absolutely stellar, I have that on order as well, um, can't wait to get my hands on that. I love a good cap slip case, and this is a vertical cap. I do that every time I say vertical cap. Um, I do have other unboxings on the channel, so please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you very much to Paul Suntup and the wonderful Suntup team for just going above and beyond for an artist edition. I mean, they go above, be above and beyond for every artist edition, but like this is like even a step above their normal artist. Uh, they have another title coming out, um, I mean, it's already been announced. It's, it's Animal Farm, uh, which is another artist edition that goes above and beyond because that's printed letterpress. These are all printed offset. Uh, that's the first artist edition, artist edition printed letterpress. Copies are still available. And there are also still copies available of Dark Matter, uh, the artist edition, uh, Handmaid's Tale, Re oh no, I think Replay sold out now. Uh, Butcher Boy, which is just finished. Uh, it's Artist Edition, so that should be shipping very soon. As well as a couple others, I believe. There are a couple others still available. But seriously, check out suntup.press. Just absolutely beautiful artwork in the form of books. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and we will see you around next time.